What's up guys, this is Jared Spalding here, and today, I know I'm a little bit late, but I'm going to be covering something that, you know, has been all over the uh, media lately, all over the news, the economic decision that quite well, very well, could very well destroy a nation, and that is Brexit, and the reason that I haven't talked about it yet is because, um, you know, I don't want to talk about the fact that it is having these disastrous economic effects or anything like that on Britain, because you already know that. But what I'm going to talk about what nobody else is, and that is how Brexit is going to cause the next silver and gold bubble. And that might seem, you know, like it doesn't have any connection in that way. I mean, obviously, you know, the economy is going to be connected to precious metals, but you might be thinking, how is it going to cause a bubble? Well, it's really simple. Now, I believe there's two possible outcomes from Brexit. <clears throat> One, and the more likely of the two, is that you know, after everything has been going really badly with Britain, you know, I mean, you look at how bad their economy has been doing lately, especially, um, you know, the labor force is threatening to revolt and everything. Chances are, I believe that they're going to want to try to get back to the EU. And why is that? Well, because, I mean, without them, they're kind of screwed, it seems. So, you know, why would they want to stay away from the EU? I mean, everybody's already been saying in Britain, you know, everyone's voted to leave. Has been regretting it now, and I'm sure that there'll be another vote going up, and they'll probably vote to go back. Okay, I'm sure that's what's gonna happen. So, really, at the end of the day, I mean, I don't think much is gonna come of it. However, it is possible that it will cause the next silver and gold bubble if the second thing happens and Britain does not rejoin the EU or the EU does not accept them back. I mean, who's to say that the EU will take them back? Yeah, I mean, the EU's doing just fine without them, it looks like to me, and with how bad Britain's economy is, it looks like they're going to have to put a lot of work into it just to get it back on its feet. And, I mean, you know, if I were, you know, in control in another country, you know, I was the um, president or whatever title uh, you might have, you know, king or queen, or technically they don't have any power anyway, they're just figureheads. Uh, but, you know, if I were some kind of leader over there, I'd be like, you know, they wanted to leave us so badly, and... If we bring them back, it's going to cost us, so why would we do that? I mean, you know, you look at how poorly they're doing now, and maybe, well, maybe now they realize their mistake, but it's too late to, you know, have any regrets. You guys were so sure you wanted to leave the EU, so bye. <laughs> I mean, really, at the end of the day, who's, like I said, who's to say the EU will take them back? And if Britain does continue to stay out of the EU, I think that its economy, just like over in Egypt, it's going to collapse. I mean, you know, you look at Egypt and how bad they off they are now because of similar decisions as Britain. I mean, I believe that the same type of thing's going to happen. You know, and you might be thinking, well, Britain's currency was uh, stronger than the United States currency, so you know they're much more powerful than Egypt. They couldn't just collapse like them. But look at Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe's currency used to be stronger than ours as well. You know, around as strong as Britain's dollar was. However. Now, Zimbabwe's $100 trillion note is worth 15 U.S. cents. So think about that for just for a second here. I mean, no matter how powerful you are, I mean, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, right? And that's especially true of the effects it's going to have on the silver and gold prices. The reason that it's going to cause the silver and gold to bubble is very, very simple. For one, their currency is going to become worthless. And... Since they're one of the major countries, a lot of companies have currency that's based in pounds, you know. Obviously not, most companies don't have all of their currency based in that, besides, you know, local businesses. But, at the same time, a lot of these big companies, they are at least partially based in the British economy. And a lot of them are making money in Britain, you know, especially companies that are selling luxury items. And, if there's a bunch of poverty going on, who could afford luxury items? So, all these companies are going to take a huge hit. And you know what that means for the stock market? It means it's going to go down severely. And when the investors see this, the ones, you know, who are the bandwagon investors, they see the stock market doing poorly. And just like back in February when it did poorly, they're going to jump to silver and gold, as well as other commodities, of course. But silver and gold is the other major commodity that there is. So, or precious metals in general. So people are going to be jumping to it. And... That's going to cause 
the price to already go up a decent amount. I mean, the price already has gone up a little bit. You know, it's going to cause it to rise more. And then you also look at the fact that you have people now who, in Britain, are going to see their dollar rapidly devaluing, you know, go, and they're going to see precious metals still holding their value. And all of, them, all of a sudden, they're going to want precious metals. And everybody in Britain's going to be trying to get a hold of them. You know, I think that us YouTubers who make videos about silver are going to be doing quite well because they're all going to be watching our videos, you know? <laughs> they're all going to be checking them out and being like, yeah, how do I do this? So I think it could help us out a lot in terms of viewership on YouTube. Not that that's too important anyway, but to, to get back to what I was saying, you know, they are going to want to invest in precious metals because, like I said, they're going to see that they hold their value. You know, as the British dollar goes down 10 times in value, well, all of a sudden silver and gold are 10 times more valuable than they were before in British currency, which means that they hold the same value. And they're going to jump to the precious metals as well. So now you got the stock market investors and you've got just regular people in Britain. Two different, very different types of people who are both going to be jumping to precious metals. And you you think that that's not going to affect the market? I mean, come on now. Let's just start thinking here. You know, if a bunch of people jump to it and there's a huge demand for it, obviously the price is going to skyrocket. And who's to say Britain's going to allow these people to buy silver and gold? So maybe the demand would be even higher if you know Britain either doesn't have enough silver and gold for everybody at their banks, you know, because they rely on a fiat currency, or if you know maybe they're going to simply try and you know tell people you can't have silver and gold. I mean, we don't want you having it; it's not available. So there's going to be a massive spike in value, especially in Britain, to get a hold of silver and gold. People are going to be paying way above the baseline price there just to get their hands on it. And the rest of the world will feel that. They will feel this huge demand for silver and gold all of a sudden arise. And other people around the world are all of a sudden going to jump on silver and gold because they're going to see the price shooting up. And they're going to be like, you know what? The price is going up. Stock market's doing bad. And people around the world are going to jump to it. And jump, you know, band, more bandwagon investors are going to jump to precious metals because they're going to see how well the price is doing. And they're going to want to make a lot of money. You know, they're going to be like, well, the price could go up to $50, $60 an ounce or even more. And they're going to start investing like crazy. And they're going to drive up the price like crazy. You know, that's the way the price goes up. That's the way a bubble forms is media. Something has to cause it. And here you go. Brexit's what's causing the bubble right now. You know, and... Of course, you might not even see the price go up as much as it might um, because of the fact that since Britain relies on a fiat currency just like many of the other big nations in the world, if they were to, you know, let's say, start and um, having their currency become hyperinflated and let's say that all their currency just became worth basically nothing, well, that means that other currencies in the world will start to be a little bit stronger because... Really, every fiat dollar that the U.S. produces hurts the rest of the world. And the same with any other country that relies on a fiat currency. Every dollar they produce is not just felt in that country, but around the world because U.S. dollars can be exchanged for other dollars, or Brit British dollar or British pounds, I should say, could be exchanged for other forms of currency. And if their currency is all of a sudden just worth nothing and taken off the market, I think other dollars will become a little bit stronger. So maybe we won't see the price go up as much because the, our currency will become a little bit stronger with the prices. But I can promise you that a bubble would form in that scenario because, just think logically, I mean, like I said, if people are really seeing how bad the economy is becoming, they're going to jump to precious metals. That's the only logical thing. The stock market will no longer be an option. Precious metals are the only thing that would be, <clears throat> you know, a good investment for them. But that's just my thoughts on it. Like I said, I was hesitating to talk about Brexit for a little bit because it's kind of a controversial topic, I think. And also, I wanted to see truly how it would affect silver and gold before um, I started talking about how you know what I think is going to happen. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and that is it for this one. Peace, love, and much respect.